Why do you literally have a diaper on? Like, why is there a Velcro? They have Velcro. Yeah, they're, access, from, they're baby. from Urban. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. What's up? Welcome back to Vlogness. What? Vlogness? Vlogness. Like Neza. Like Vlogness, but... No, no, I got it. That's really cute. I actually <laughs> it's like cute, it. Right? Guys, if you remember these videos, I've already done two parts, and you love them. And I was like, why not do the third part with Tara Yummy? I have an open book, baby. So, <laughs> so, I asked you guys on Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. Have you ever mistakenly called your boyfriend by the name of your ex or a ex? No. I haven't either. But like I, just because there was, actually there wasn't that much time between Jake and an ex of mine. Yeah. But like, I feel like I wouldn't make that mistake. Especially doing the group. I feel uh, like especially if it's been a really long time. Because for me, before Crawford, my like, I dated someone before Crawford for a long period, but it wasn't like Same. serious. It Same. was serious, but it, it wasn't was, this serious. It was a situationship. Same. There was like a huge year gap. Oh, so mine wasn't like, like was that long. long. Mine, mine was like, like mine was like three, six four months years. maybe. But Ooh. but I never said I never did that. Okay, good. I've I've accidentally called people babe. Like oh, I've called Freddie babe. I did that not I'm not on accident. Yeah, it's just how I talk. I've called Freddie babe, and she's like. I call like a cash register babe. Really? Like, like the cashier. I'm like thanks babe. Like I just that's just my yeah. That's just my vocabulary so but, but if never you called. guys if, if you guys have had this experience comment down oh, below oh please i'd love to i would that. love to know how that went for you have you ever peed in the pool maybe when i was younger when i was younger i will say i for sure have probably like peed in a lake as an adult i peed in the ocean for sure <laughs> All the time. I literally did the other like time we went to the ocean. Like, it was like me, Brian Anderson. I was like, I'm peeing. No one comes. No. Here. Yeah, girl. Sarah. Yeah, girl. Uh, so anyone who has said that they have not peed in a pool at one point, in I the have. Life, I'm sure lying. when I was a kid. I'm sure I have. Everyone, even I was on kid. swim team. Like I'm sure I was on swim team. Yeah, girl. That's my like. That's my sport. Swimming. Yeah, I also used to like go to surf camp. What does surf camp entail? They you teach go you to and surf you and then all surf? day and like once you learn you just surf all day with like a bunch of hot surf instructors. Really? I was like 12 years old and I definitely thought I had a chance with one of them. <laughs> it's funny because like I still keep in touch with some of them on Instagram and I literally was like I looked up to you so much like I literally thought I was gonna What a way like to like they like blonde be around camp. hot people. Oh it was awesome. Surf camp. Yep, surf camp. Well you heard it here guys. If you guys want to be around hot super surf sexy hot surf guys. Surf guys. Surf, surf camp, camp is the way to go. How tall are you? Not an uncomfortable question, but 11. Are you really? I'm like 14 and a half, but I say 4'11 because it's just like, I don't want to say 4'10 and then like this much left. Yeah. 4'11. I'm 5'3, guys. Um, I know everyone on tour was shocked at how short I was. So shocked. Yeah. Um, I think that's how tall people think I am. So they're shocked when they see me too. Yeah, everyone was like, I thought you were 5'7. And I was like, it's all angled, baby. But literally, what, do it's... they think, do they think Crawford's like six foot if you're 5'7? But that, that's the thing, like that, that's also, a, I've seen those comments too. They're like, well, if, if Neza's 5'3, how tall is Crawford? Or like if Neza's 5'7, how tall is Crawford? Cause tall, Crawford's taller than me. Yeah. It's all about angles, you guys. If yeah. you're, if you're short queens like us, like, yeah, it's so easy to photograph tall. It's just all it's all about angles. Okay, I don't know if you sugar wax. Oh, we've talked about your experience with that. Oh my gosh, did I tell you about yeah. that? Because when did you start sugaring? Is it the best method of hair removal? I started sugaring in 20, I think 2017, like 2016. I like it. I laser. Oh, see, I'm gonna start lasering. You have to shave to laser though. Yeah, friend, you have to shave to laser. Yeah, you have to shave before you go in. Every time? Every time. Do you feel like you have less, like, because I, I feel, feel like, like I have less hair. Okay. Well, that's what it does. It makes your yeah, hair less. Yeah, and do you feel like it grows back slow? I haven't gone back. I haven't gone laser yeah. in a long time, but, like, when you go consistently, it barely grows. Hmm. Went a little period of time there without going because I think I t said it in my last video, but... The, well, you told me traumatized the girl. Me. The girl literally ripped my skin off. Like, your labia was on her wax strip? Like, or literally, no, her sugar. like, literally, it hurt so bad, and I was like, hmm. And then she was like... Oh, just so you know, like when she was finishing, she was like, just so you know, you're bleeding a little down there. And I went home. No, it was I not still, a little. I sent the photo to Frank. I saw the photo. Actually, you you, I showed the photo to you. I went straight to Crawford's house after that, and he looked at it for me and was like, that is not okay. That looks insane. You have to call the manager. Because I can't complain, guys. I'm too nice. I'm too nice. For like, I let it go for like a week, and I was like, shit, like, 
what if she does that to, to other people else, there? Yeah. She, I, I guess she was brand new. Yeah. And so I called and they like apologized and they like refunded me and they told me that they were gonna put her back in training and I was like, shit happens, but like imagine it happened to like a Karen. Ugh. You know? Yeah. But it was so painful and I didn't go back for so long and I well, that's what I get for going to a different sugaring place. It, I needed an emergency sugaring, yeah, so I went to a Valentine. place. It was Valentine's Day. I remember your story. It was Valentine's that's a good memory. Day. It was the day before Valentine's Day. It was the day before Valentine's Day, and I needed an emergency sugar. Oh, that's such an emergency. <laughs> and uh, I went to a different place that I don't go to, and that's what I get. So now I only go to like my my old people, and they are the best. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can never hear the Panama Montana transition in my head, but that's what I think it sounds like. It goes, like. oh, 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 oh. Yeah. That's one of them. That was actually really good. And there's one that goes, ooh, 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 yeah. And there's one that goes, oh, oh, oh. That's the one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the one I'm thinking yeah. of. That's yeah. so funny. I got you. Sugar won't just like sit like that on me. It's because he knows it's dinner time. Oh. <laughs> Right. He's trying to give you sweet lovin'? Yeah, he's, he's trying to butter me up so I'd feed him dinner, but he knows he has a good 20 more minutes. He has a clock. He, his whole world is food. Like, this man loves his sugar. Sure. Like oh, he loves his food. He, like, is obsessed with it. Do you look at your poop when you finish? Yeah. I gotta make sure there's nothing weird in there. Honestly, me too. I think I look because Who I doesn't want to make sure. I what if there's sure. blood in it? What? Like what if I have to I think you would feel if there was blood. No, like internal bleeding. Like what if I have to go to the doctor? True. Also, the day after my birthday, I pooped like neon green. Doesn't that mean you're does that mean you're dehydrated? What does that mean? I don't know. When's the first time you used a tampon and did it hurt? Mm. I remember my first time it was like one of those like emergency things when no one had taught me how to use one. My mom was really against tampons. My mom was too. Like and but I was I don't know where I was that I needed a pad and no one had one and so I had to buy a tampon from like the the bathroom and I taught myself how to do it. Wow, self-taught. It was self-taught. It was awful. I hated the first time putting it in. I was like, I hate this. It was so uncomfortable. But I love them now. I don't remember when my first time was, but my first memory of working one was like the seventh grade pool party. But like I don't remember. Yeah. And I remember being like, oh my god, my string is out. But I don't oh. remember like my first time. Maybe that was my first time. First experience shaving your intimates. I don't remember when, but I remember my first time I've never nicked myself when I was shaving. I've no, never no. nicked myself. I've nicked my legs once, but my first I don't first remember time, my first time shaving. I don't I remember my see. first time, but I remember I was scared for my life. I do remember like throwing away the razor though and like cleaning everything up because I didn't want my parents to know. Aww, that's cute. I was like, I, well, I don't want them to think I'm growing up. Like, yeah. I just don't want them to, or also know why the hell I'm yeah. shaving, so. Have you ever been on dating apps? Yes. Yeah. One. I've never gone on a date with it though. So many people tell me that. It was just for attention. I, I've only had one serious thing, which was the eight month thing yeah. come from a, an app. And then I went on, I went on one date because of Bumble, hated it. Okay. I was like, never. Have you been on Raya? That's where I found my like long-term thing. Dude, I've always wanted to like go be on Raya, but I can't because I'm a boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> it's like just because I want to see who's on it. Yeah, it's funny to see. Not like who's on it. Yeah, it's funny to see the celebs on there for sure. Yeah. You're just like, what? Yeah. Why? Crazy, right? And how? Yeah, it's weird. Joseph Quinn's on there. Is he really? Yeah. Well, I haven't been on Raya in years. I haven't been on Raya since 2018. I wish there was, like a, I wish there was a Raya Friends. There is a Raya Friends. What? But it's in the same app. There's, you click this thing on the bottom that says like, I think it says Friends or it says something else. And it's mainly like, it's to network, it's like business. Like, oh, you're a stylist. Oh, I'm oh, wait, it's like, that's oh, you're really music. good. Yeah, it's like, oh, I do music. Oh, I do music. So it's like to like connect. Oh, wait, should but I But do I don't know if anyone uses it. I'll try it. I don't know. How long do you think people should be in a relationship before thinking of getting married? But if we were talking about my own personal children, at least a year or two, possibly even three, because I've been in a six year relationship, right? So and then you change your mind. Well, yeah, because yeah. in my six year, I was like, I was like so positive that I was gonna marry him. And I was like, this is it, this is done. And then it just went to absolute shit towards the end. And I was like, oh my gosh, what if I had married him? Like, I would want my kids to wait at least like a year or two. Um, because stuff just shifts. 
Like, obviously, if you're in the honeymoon phase and you get married. Yeah. yeah so, I like want to think I believe in marriage, but I, it's really hard. My parents me. aren't married. Really? They're not married. They never got married? They never got married. I mean, at this point, they should just get married. I think they will, like, just for fun at this point. Like, my mom's like, yeah, we should have a wedding just for fun, but, like, they... You know what's funny? Yeah. I want to have a wedding, but I don't want to be married. <laughs> Are you friends with any exes? Yeah. I am friends with I'm cool with all my exes. With all? I've only had, like, two real oh, exes. Oh, okay. Well, like, uh, situationship, I'm friends because there's nothing, nothing, nothing ever has... Bad. Ended badly. Oh, okay. It was like a fizzle. Like yeah. Fizzled out. Yeah. So I don't have a problem. I wouldn't say I hang out with them all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm friends but with them. But you're cordial and friendly. Yeah. And you yeah, I'm friends with one. He came to my SF show. Like he came. Oh really? Yeah, he came. Like my some a bunch. We were like we met through the dance world back home. Like we were growing up. And, and that's nice. Yeah, but we only. I don't think there's anything wrong with being friends with no, the we as were, long as there's nothing there. No, we were only. We dated for like three months. Yeah. And we were so young, and it never became anything crazy Seriously. serious. So like. We would never date each other now. We're completely different people, but we still have like that friendship and it's great. And yeah, there's it's whatever, but yeah. not the rest of my, the rest of my exes, absolutely they not. They go like a bottle? They, yeah, the rest of my exes, absolutely not. Well, I only have like, other than that, like I only really have like one. Yeah. Would you rather poo in your hands and clap or drink someone else's vomit through a straw? Bro, poop in hand, no questions. Even reading that, the second half like made me want to vomit. So for sure. The first one, bro. Yeah, it's whatever. Fine. Just wash your hands after. I actually, this is gonna be so. Have you grabbed your shit? No, I accidentally. Say? So not these nails. Thank God. But oh, you like? No, 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 what? no. I went to go. You're I, scaring me. I took Loki out. Oh no, you like accidentally touched Loki's poo? No, my fingernails you cut the, the bag. bag. Were you throwing up? I I, to me. I didn't realize what was happening at first because oh thank you for the kisses. I didn't realize he's sorry. He's sorry. I didn't realize what was happening at first, so I went to go grab it and my fingernails. It's because I was using a random bag because they ran out of bags downstairs, and so I brought like a random one that I had that I wasn't used to. And I went and grabbed the poop, and my nails went through the bag, and I just felt warm, and I was like, what the heck? And I just looked down, and I was like, you literally like. No, I couldn't believe what was happening. And then I came up here and like washed the crap out of my hands. But literally washed the crap out of your hands. Uh, no, literally. literally. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to attract a guy? And this, first of all, this one called me out. It says not working for free at PacSun. Is that what you did? Dude. Oh, I've done some crazy I'll tell shit. You. Okay, what have you done? I'll God, I can't even. This is gonna take a while. Ah. Like, do you have 10 minutes? Ah. I'm, sure, I'm sure I've done the craziest shit to get a guy's attention. The thing I've done to get attention, I mean, the story that they're referring to is I had the, the biggest crush on one of my coworkers, one of my managers at Paxson back in the day, and um, I knew he was closing. I showed up to Paxson, like, dressed all cute. And then I guess someone didn't show up, one of his associates didn't show up. So I worked off the clock and I helped him close. I would do that in a, in a heartbeat. And, Again, then, and then he took me to in and out after. He liked you. No, I don't oh. think so. Okay, never mind. But if there was definitely, a, I was getting a vibe. If I ever went into him now, I'd be like, hey, was that all in my head? Yeah, you wanna know. I definitely I wanna know. I'm like, did you like me? I wanna know. Like, I'm so nosy. I was like, that can't, that couldn't have been in my head. No, but maybe no, it was, right. who knows. No, I just I just told you you liked you by just that one thing. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I've done so much. I've like changed my hair color. I Really? Yeah, girl. I've done I've, like, I've like gotten into parties that I was to, like, not that invited you to, that I knew he'd be there. I guess that's like borderline stalker, but like, <laughs> We were friends. I liked a guy in middle school who, the guy I was just telling you about, the guy that we like were on and off from mm -hmm. middle school to high school. Um, one day for Valentine's Day, I would bring like a lot of candy and I would give it to everyone as like little Valentine's I love Valentine's Day. Yeah. And he wanted a blue airhead and I gave him a white one and I just gave him my last blue one to somebody. He's like, oh, you don't have any blue? I'm like, one second. And I ran across the field and I'm like, hey, can you trade with me? And I gave, like I like traded no the blue way. one and I gave it to him. And he's like, you did all that for me? I'm like, yeah. I watched um, the entire Game of Thrones for series. someone, that's that's coming. Just so that we would have because he was like he was like obsessed with it, and just so we would have like something to talk about. Anyways, guys, that was answering uncomfortable questions. That was really fun. Questions, questions, questions. Yay! Yay! Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below any other videos you guys want to see for vlogness. Thank you to Tara for being here. Make sure you guys subscribe to her channel. I will have everything down below. We also did a video on Tara's channel. What is going on? Mine goes up Monday. 
So there will be a video on our channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family, and we, we love, love you guys. We're doing, oh, we're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.